In today's video, I'll be showing you how to fix issues with PUBG Battlegrounds on your Windows computer, giving you DirectX errors. So if you're having problems when trying to play the game, it keeps crashing or just instantly comes up with a DirectX error window when you try launching the game, then don't panic because there's a few things that you can do to resolve this issue. But before we get started, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, and you do enjoy this video, be sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos just like this. We are always doing videos on how to fix errors, crashes and other issues with games. So the first thing that you need to do is ensure that Windows is up to date. And to do this, all you need to do is right click on the start menu icon and you then need to select settings. You now need to click on to update and security and you then need to click on the check for updates button and if Windows does detect any new updates, allow it to install those updates, restart your computer, and you can then move on to the next step. And that is to open up the start menu. Once the start menu is open, you now need to type in disk and then clean up. And you now need to select disk cleanup. You now need to select your C drive. And you then need to click on DirectX shader cache and go ahead and deselect everything else. Once you've done that, we can now press OK and you then need to click on Delete Files. And this is going to clear the DirectX shader cache. Once that's finished, the next thing you need to do is ensure you have the latest driver installed for your graphics card. I will put the links in the description below where you can grab the driver for your graphics card, whether it be AMD, Intel or Nvidia. If you're not sure what graphics card you have in your computer, you can find this out by right clicking on the start menu icon and then selecting device manager. And if you now expand display adapters, as you can see, I have an Nvidia graphics card and it's a GTX 1660 Super, which means I need to go to the Nvidia website and look for a 1660 Super driver. So once you've downloaded the driver, go ahead and install the driver and you can then move on to the next step once it's finished install it. And that is to click on the first link that's in the description below to download the latest DirectX to your computer. So once you click onto the link, you will end up on the page that looks like this. You now need to select your language and you then need to click on download. You now need to go save file. And once the file's finished downloading, you then need to run the setup file. You now need to agree to the terms. If you do click on I accept and then next. And you can now choose if you want to install the Bing bar. I don't want to. And you can then go ahead and press next. And it will now see if there are any new files available for DirectX. If it does detect any new files, allow it to install. And then once it's finished, press finish. And you can now move on to the next step. And that is to click on the second link that's in the description below to download the latest C++. So you will now end up on a page that looks like this. You need to scroll down and select X64 as you will have a 64 bit version of Windows. If you do not and you're using a 32 bit version of Windows, then you won't be able to play PUBG. So I'm going to go ahead and download the file now. Once the file's finished downloading, go ahead and run the setup file. If you already have C++ 2015 to 2022 installed like I do, you will only have the option to repair. If you don't have it installed, then press install. If you do have it installed like I do, then you need to click on repair. So once that's finished installing, go ahead and restart your computer. Once you have restarted your computer, you now need to go ahead and launch PUBG Battlegrounds and see if that has resolved the DirectX errors and issues you were having. If that didn't fix the issues, then the next thing you need to do is keep PUBG Battlegrounds open. I'm going to go ahead and launch my game now. Alrighty, once you're in game, you need to select the settings cog in the top right hand corner and you now need to select settings. You then need to click on the graphics tab and you now need to scroll all the way down to the bottom and you then need to change your DirectX version. So if you're using DirectX 11, then you need to change this to DirectX 12. If you're using DirectX 12, then you need to change this to DirectX 11. And if you're using 
DirectX 11 or DirectX 12, then try using DirectX 11 Enhanced. So once you have changed the DirectX version, go ahead and jump into game and see if that helped resolve the issue. If that didn't resolve the issue, then the next thing you need to do is try lowering your graphics. So as you can see at the moment, mine is on very low. If yours is on high, then change yours all the way down to very low, launch into game, and then see if you no longer get the DirectX error. If you don't, then you can go ahead and just bump your graphics up a little bit to low and then try playing the game again. And then if you still don't get the error, then change the graphics up again. And obviously just play around with the graphics until you get the error and then lower the graphics again. So that does now bring me to the end of this video. I hope this video helped you out and you enjoyed it. If you did like the video, click on the like button below. And if you want to see more computer sluggish videos, then hit that subscribe button. If you do subscribe, then I will see you in the next video.